through bowl games and stuff like that where you kind of see the pageantry, the big atmosphere, so you don't go in there and just like get your jaw drop and be in awe. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, I, mean, I think you know the Orange Bowl, especially being uh, you know the publicity there, and uh, that's pretty much what's going to be like in Big Twelve. How tough was last season for you? First time that you get the ball thrown your way, you have to go to the other sideline and ask, "Did I catch it?" Because you yeah. pretty much get knocked out. I mean, I, I, how tough was was that for you, especially with the hype that you kind of mm-hmm. got in the spring before that? It was tough. I mean, you know, working with my you know butt off for the summer in camp and being able to start that first game, you know, it was tough. But you know, I think I worked my way through it and uh, got through it. And, you know, I think I persevered, and we'll see what happens this season. I have a little bit more of a sense of urgency now because you know this is the last chance. Mm-hmm, yeah, I mean, I definitely have more of a sense of urgency. You know, this is my senior year, and I want to make the most of it. Do you think a lot of the guys have comprehended the level of competition you guys are going to be going up against now with the Big East teams you guys played before? Obviously, they weren't as the East and offense weren't as high power as the Big Twelve. I mean, we comprehend that it's, you know it's going to be a tough conference. You know, right now we're just trying to get ourselves the best we can, and you know we're not really worrying about. You know, the Big 12 opponents so far now. Just worrying about ourselves. <laughs> you guys try, tired of hearing about it, honestly? I mean, Texas and Oklahoma, how great they are, it seems like that's all anybody's talking about this summer. Yeah, you know, I think we're probably getting a little tired of it. I mean, I think we're pretty good ourselves, too. Yeah. So, you know, we're just looking forward to the competition. I, I know that the fan base especially, but the team itself, you know, a lot of confidence and excitement for what West Virginia is capable of. Uh, you know, a lot of people say that you're only as good as your last game, which was pretty good for West Virginia. But do you sort of have to take, you know, the losses with you, too, the, the Syracuse, the, the Louisville, to say, you know, okay, we, we weren't unstoppable for that regular season? I mean, I think so. You know, that you know, the Orange Bowl was just, you know, one snapshot in time. You know, we did you know, we didn't perform well in some of the games last year, but, you know, I think we're taking the most of the Orange Bowl win. We're going to try to start out well this year. You've been in this town your entire life. Have you ever seen the excitement to, to this level, whether it's, you know, about the conference or the football team itself? Uh, nope. I mean, this is probably, you know, the biggest high since, I would say, you know, I'll say, what, the Sugar Bowl, maybe, back when Rick was here. So, I mean, it's pretty high right now. Is that, I mean, does it maybe get you excited in a different way growing up a WVU fan? I mean, it's not like you just got recruited here and yeah. like, yeah, sure, I'll play for that team. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely exciting now, you know, growing up, you know, and but now I'm actually a part of it and actually doing something here. And it's uh, pretty exciting. How much pressure, or I don't know if pressure is the right word, but motivation are you putting for yourself that, you know, you do have a successful year and you're able to, whatever it is, depth mm-hmm. or starting? I mean, there's a lot of motivation, you know, I've... Uh, you know, I've gone through a lot here, and I've worked hard since I've been here, and I just want to go out on the right note. 